Okay, we want to set up DHCP. So go into the menu, visit the system, then go all the way to Yance Administrator Settings. It throws up a dialog box where you need to enter the root password. Now you get to the Yance Control Center, go to Network Devices, uh, click the option called Network Settings. It opens up a large box uh, which eventually says Network Settings and if you see here now it shows you you got a Realtek 8139 uh, card and it's not configured uh, in the bottom we have an entry called the device is not configured press edit to configure you can see your um, hardware has been detected the MAC address is shown here okay uh, let's go up in the network settings you have something called as the global options uh, which says how do you control your network setup so you say the traditional method is IFUP if you want IPv6 you click an option here uh, if you want the DHCP client uh, you can actually set up the option here the host name to send is auto change default route via DHCP and that's important because uh, your automatic gateway information is updated once you are on a DHCP network uh, the overview tab shows that your device is not configured and the host name for example in this case shows that the host name is Patriot and it's written to the etc host file now if you see here uh, name servers and domain search list then this information currently is not there however what happens is when you run in your DHCP this information is pulled in from the DHCP server and uh, updated so you can actually see here this line which is shared uh, sort of disabled says update DNS data via DHCP so that's how uh, a Linux DHCP clients pull in name server information and they also update the etc result.conf file uh, the next is for example, the routing information which talks about default gateway and routing table now you don't need this uh, as part of your DHCP setup Okay, and we're also not doing IP forwarding. This is in case you want to push packets to another uh, peer. Fine, so let's get back to the overview tab sheet. Uh, click edit. So now we see it says about device type with Ethernet. Uh, the configuration name is ETH0. So you know that's what's going to be named, uh, going to be the name for your interface. The dynamic address is DHCP, and that's how we're going to pull up. Uh, let's look at the hardware tab sheets. It shows uh, this is your device name. It also shows you two modules 81392 and 81392 CP. Uh, for most cases, 81392 actually works, even though both uh, drivers are loaded. In the general tab, it says the activate device at boot time. So when the system comes up, that's when actually it would activate. You have other options like on cable connection. So that's essentially for uh, when you just connect in your cable, uh, it will try to run a D it will detect uh, the the media and so it will try to run a DHCP server, uh, client. Uh, your firewall here is at this point in time disabled, and you don't set the maximum transmission uh, transfer unit at this point in time. Just leave it. Uh, it will have different values depending on what kind of media you are. For example, if you are on Ethernet, it's 500 oct 1500 octets. If you are on a PPOA broadband, it's 1492. And dial up the MTU is even smaller. So you just set this up and then you come in here and say next. So now you would see it says that your device has been configured uh, via DHCP. And here we can see this information. So the device name ETH0 started automatically at boot. IP address assigned at DHCP and then we go in here and click finish so that would write in the driver information the device information so already